Welcome back and thank you for joining us today. Today we're going to talk about the first world champion of America Speedway with honor and respect. We're going to talk about this great man, the late, the great Jack Milne. Jack was born June 14th, 1907 in Buffalo, New York. And when Jack was just a young child, his whole family, the Milne family, moved out west, go west, young man, to Pasadena, California. And that's where Jack learned his love for motorcycles. Jack owned a small business and he saw his brother, Courtney, he actually was making money racing motorcycles. And Jack went up to Courtney and said, hey, let's go ahead and start racing. And he was invited by some promoters to race in England with his brother. And they decided to just pack it up, sell the business, and let's go riding. Jack raced for the New Cross Tamers from 1936 to 1939. And his brother Cordy raced for the Hackney Wick Wolves from 1936 to 1939. They were featured in all kinds of articles, advertisements, and even Cigarettes. Do not smoke cigarettes. They were trading Jack Milne cards, like baseball cards. They're trading Jack Milne and Cordy Milne trading cards. But Jack's biggest accomplishment came in 1937 when he won the individual world championship. His brother, Cordy, he finished third that year in the World Championship. So it was a podium finish for the Milne brothers. First and third, Jack and Cordy Milne. Time, 1937 was an amazing year for Jack Milne. He won the London Cup champion, the London Riders champion. He won the Australian champion, the South Wales state championship. Jack Milne won it all. But 1938 was a pretty good year for Jack. He finished second in the world championship. He was finishing silver second place on the podium. And he finished with the London Cup Championship and he was in three world championships. His last one was in 1939, but the war started, that dang World War II started, and Jack was in fifth place in the semis, and they never finished the world championship that year. Jack took his money and Cordy, and they took like $4,000, and they just moved back home to Pasadena. They got the heck out of Dodge. And they started a business, a motorcycle business. And later they started a car business. Jack and Cordy Milne were businessmen too. I was hunting around the internet and I found this program from the 1940s at the Santa Monica Speedway. They had a speedway at the Santa Monica Pier. They actually ran speedway around the mid 40s at the Santa Monica Pier. And who was number one? Jack Milne. There was great riders like Ernie Rocio, Cordy Milne, and others who are just famous Speedway riders. But they raced Speedway at the Santa Monica Pier in that area. Can you believe that? Jack's life took a turn in 1969. Jack was a very good businessman and he teamed up with Harry Oxley who was a very good businessman. But Jack had one thing that Harry did not have. He had the Speedway racing experience.
So they teamed up and they created the Costa Mesa Speedway. It was just a legendary speedway. Costa Mesa became famous in the 1970s. And thanks to Harry Oxley and Jack Milne. In 1998, Jack respectfully was inducted to the AMA Motorcycle Hall of Fame before he passed away. And that's exactly where Jack belongs in the AMA Hall of Fame. In 1998, Costa Mesa Speedway dedicated a race night to Jack Milne called the Jack Milne Cup. It's a very prestigious race. Every year, Brad Oxley says, whoever wins this cup, it's very prestigious. And the first year winner was Bobby Boogaloo Schwartz. The following year in 1999 was the second year of the Jack Milne Cup. And who won that cup of the second year? It was the famous Gary Gorgeous Hicks. Now Gary has some history. He is the grandson of Cordy Milne and also he is a relative of the famous Jack Milne. And Gary Hicks was an amazing rider. He won so many main events. He was just fabulous. Everybody loves who? Gary Hicks. Since 1998, 1999, there has been a string of Jack Milne winners. On January 29th, 2005, they had a big dedication honorary at the Queen Mary in Long Beach, and all the former world champions were there. Billy Hamill, Greg Hancock, Bruce the Fox Pennell, and Sudden Sam Ermolenko. They were all there, and I was there too. It was a really cool event. They had all the former United States World Speedway racers there, and they had one that was missing, and that was Jack Milne, rest in peace. But Sandra Hicks, Cordy's granddaughter, she brought Jack's 1937 JAP motorcycle, the winning motorcycle. And all the current living Speedway champions, they took a photo next to Jack's motorcycle because he couldn't be there. And they signed limited edition prints. I wish I would have bought one. And they're very beautiful of all the living United States Speedway world champions. It is with great honor and respect I do this vlog on Jack Milne. I met Jack Milne once or a few times at Costa Mesa Speedway. He was a nice guy, very soft-spoken, a gentleman. Jack was just an amazing human being. I love Jack Milne and he was just so kind and sweet when I was racing when I was a young 16-year-old. Got a chance to hang out with Jack a few times and Jack's an amazing guy. So thank you so much for watching this vlog on Jack Milne, the first United States world champion. He's just an amazing rider. We have more videos up here if you want to go ahead and check them out. And we'd like you to subscribe if you can, if you like this content. So please like, share, subscribe, and always ring that bell.